Hello, handsome. Might I read your poem? Oh, a grand adventure lies before you. But there is a curse as well. When the great clock strikes, London shall fall. Look here, an ink stain. This writer was either hurried or frightened. <laughs> the fingerprint and pungent smell indicate the writer uses machine oil. No signature. They want to meet incognito. It's likely they're well known in London. And the paper itself is a clue. It's a poster for the new clock. Oh, a lot of people have been talking about this clock, sir. You say it's good. Gentlemen, what a pleasure. What has brought you here? Ah, detective. I'm the author of that letter. I'm Halls, engineer for the world's biggest clock, the new pride of London. It will be unveiled tonight. Ah, but someone wants to stop the clock. That's why I've been so secretive. Someone attacked me, and I have the mark on my hand to prove it. There's a lot of rubbish going around about some curse in a headless clockmaker. I need you to find out who's really behind this. It's not just me that's in danger. Lots of people are going to attend the ceremony, even the Queen herself. See? Another trick. The culprit sent me a threatening letter, too. It's in the pocket of my briefcase. Cursed chimes play, London's skies shall burn, the clock shall bathe in the victim's blood, as the Thames's waters rise and boil, then shall the moon eclipse, death heralds the apocalypse, the headless clockmaker at last arrives, he holds the skull that shall bring the end. that you have some clues. What is your professional opinion? Someone clearly wants to sabotage the clock tower ceremony. That person threatened the engineer using illusions to craft the tale of the headless clockmaker. I suspect that they are not only mad, but cunning as well. They must stop them before the ceremony. I've heard you're the best detective around. And I want you to protect this briefcase. The ceremony can't start without it. Let's shake hands 
Make this official. The briefcase cold. Look! Up there! The headless clockmaker! What? Who dares to ring the tower bells without my permission? He's cursed us all. He wants revenge. No breath. He's dead. Who was that? He was just about to tell me the code. Perhaps it's in his pockets. This young Bobby is clearly a rookie. He just arrived at the scene. 
I doubt that lady saw anything. A dog may have, but I can't question a canine. This drunken soul's testimony can't be relied on. The little girl is still in shock, and so are her parents, for that matter. The shoeshine boy. His eyes are clear, and he's calm. He saw everything. Shine your shoes? My brush will shine them even better than the bell. Well, before it fell, that is. Yeah, I saw it. Three shillings, and I'll tell you while I shine your shoes. When that man went to your cab, I saw someone up at the bell. Ravens and black fog swarmed him, and he was headless. Haven't you heard about the curse? That's the headless clockmaker. How'd you like your shoes, Gav? Shiny as a mirror. Look, you can even see the clockmaker in them. Gotcha! Hey, stop you little thief! Stolen the engineer's briefcase. We'll catch him, sir. Sorry, sir. I'm afraid the carriage is too tight to fit in that alley. Will you follow the lad? Do be careful. It, it's easy to get turned around in there. Lay off that lad. He's none of your business, copper. Get stuffed. <laughs> Easy.
Easy, copper. Easy. I give up. That brat ran ahead, right into that dead end. stood for a moment trying to decide. Occupied. Too dangerous. Locked. Too smelly. He chose the two biggest cans. One to hide the briefcase and another for himself. He threw a cat at me to startle me and give him time to hide.
Come out now. The jig is up. I'm not saying nothing. I sure cornered, lad. Just cooperate. No, help! Murderers! Someone help me! Told you, I'm not talking. I'm as good as dead anyway. The headless marked me. You won't talk, but perhaps your pockets will. Shoeshine boy snitch is just your typical London pickpocket. Someone hired him to steal the briefcase and then used the black mark to make sure he wouldn't talk. It's time to head to the park and interview his mysterious employer. Vince, give this hungry lad some food, and then let him go. Snitch, you don't strike me as superstitious. You really believe in this headless clockmaker? He's real, Detective. Honest. We saw him. This curse will strike when the damn clock does. He said the Thames will boil next. The clock is cursed. Did you hear? The headless clockmaker killed the clock engineer. You seek knowledge? Take this and meet me in my cart. I'll tell you more. He did it so lightning.
greeting, sir, since I can't very well call this evening good. For just seven coins, you can take your pick from my newspapers and posters. I'm certain there's one for the circus in there. Welcome. goes there? What do you want? My cards know many things. What happened before and what will yet be? Choose two cards and I'll tell your fortune.
you witnessed the first act of revenge. The guilty one has paid. But soon, you'll meet Dead. He'll put his mark on you. When the eclipse begins, the river will boil. He is the Headless. Once he was a clockmaker, the one who built the clock tower. He devoted his life to it. But someone envied his fame. An accident was arranged to kill him. However, the clockmaker's son fell into the trap instead, tumbling off the tower. The clockmaker rushed to save his son, but he fell into the clock mechanism and was soon beheaded. Before he died, the clockmaker cursed the clock tower and whoever was responsible. That is all I see. Take this. Good luck in your investigation. villain should see my signal from the tower. He'll come for the briefcase. Meanwhile, I'll hide behind the ivy with my camera and a trap. When the villain takes the briefcase, I'll blind him with the flash and capture him.
that? The real headless man, or simply a trick? The camera shall reveal the truth. That headless clockmaker story is true. I should research that accident. It seems Cooper has a workshop at the address I found. Cooper could be the next victim. I must go as soon as possible. Deny that it fits the legend, sir. But when the chimes went off, the engineer died. First blood, then burning skies. What's next? The Thames boiling? The tower is cursed for certain. Sink the boat and destroy the evidence. We don't get paid. All right, let's go.
And I thought, uh, well, I'm glad to see you. This will help you open the hatch. is broken, sir. And the carriage is stuck. And my horse is scared and hungry. We can't go anywhere right now.
so you can't tell me that was all a trick. But people saw those signs. See? The great clock will herald the end of this city. Stop the clock! must have heard me and locked themselves in. They snuffed the light and tried to escape, but the window was too high to jump. When their attempts to hide failed, they rushed to the nearest shelter when I came in. No, don't touch 
touched me. I'm not going to hurt you, ma'am. Here, give that to me. Sorry, sir. My name's Rebecca, Mr. Culper's assistant. I thought the headless had come for me. I heard Mr. Culper scream and I hid. Here, take his pills. His heart's weak. I'll go get the doctor. Must be the detective Hall's hired, and thank goodness he did. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. Engineer Halls was supposed to start the clock, but he died. The mayor, he hired me to replace Halls. Then came my turn to pay. We, we arranged an accident to scare Clockmaker Williams, but somehow he died. The boy was injured. The mayor might be next. You must go to him. Take his watch from my glass case to prove you know me.
The clues all prove that there is no headless ghost, rather an ordinary human trying to kill the people responsible for the ceremony. One is already dead, and another has been attacked. The mayor is next. I need to check on him. With a cursed child play, London sky shall burn, the clock shall fade, and the victim's blood! God let the curse begin! I said I won't cancel the ceremony. Go away! Oh, excuse me. Oh, come in. No, 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 no the head of skull. I'm black marked. It's another fake, Mayor. I'll prove it. just dug up. The cemetery is next door, so the villain must have just come from there. Scandalous! The Queen will be at the ceremony. I won't let anything ruin it. Detective, you must check the clockmaker's crypt for clues. The cemetery has been locked up because of all the rumors, as you can imagine.
into a trap. But if this is about revenge, who could be responsible? After the accident, the clockmaker's son, Samuel, is in a wheelchair. Could it be his...
Sir, who made this tea for you? My assistant, Rebecca. threatened the mayor and tried to trap me in order to stop the ceremony. But my investigation of the clockmaker's crypt proved it was all just a well-acted play. And it seems Rebecca is playing the lead role. She is clockmaker Williams's daughter. I must talk to her. will begin in an hour. Whoa! Could you raise the bar so we can keep going?
Leave me alone. I didn't do anything. No. How can you explain that you were present during both attacks? It's just a coincidence. I'm... I'm an orphan. I needed money. So I asked Copper and the mayor to hire me in honor of my poor father. I've been at home since I called the doctor for Mr. Copper. I must have lost it when I hid under the table. The mayor asked me to type up some documents. I was working with ink all morning. I was in a rush to get to the doctor. I fell. It's London, sir. I got rained on. Don't you believe me? No, Rebecca. I don't believe you. Hands up. Very well, sir. You're a good detective, but you should stay out of my way. is a criminal? That's impossible. She's been taking care of me, breaking her neck to support us ever since our father died. She's as smart as he was and wanted to finish his clock tower. But Halls refused to hire her. She was furious, but a murderer? Never. Check her diary if you don't believe me.
Rebecca is a talented inventor, and she organized the false legend of the headless clockmaker. But something went wrong, and her farce became dangerous. She's still planning to ruin the clock tower. I need to get there and stop her. Vince. Hello there, sir. 
Wanna watch the ceremony? The square's full up, but I can clear some room with my music if you'll fix my harmonica. Don't be shy! Sing along! Rebecca snuck inside and attacked the guard. She must have seen my carriage coming, so she came down to the dial and took away the ladder to keep me from getting there. She took the elevator to the bell and hid something inside.
Hands up, detective. You'll never stop the bomb without the code. No! Call me a criminal, but the real criminals are the ones who killed my father and crippled my brother. The ones who refused to hire me, a talented engineer, simply because I'm a woman. This injustice will not stand! Anyone. I just wanted to finish my father's dream. Forgive me.
clockmaker Williams built an amazing clock tower, but his business partners planned an accident to force his retirement. Tragically, the accident led to Williams' death and his son's injury. The three concealed the truth and appropriated Williams' assets, leaving his children to the mercy of fate. Rebecca tried to find justice to no avail. Desperation led to drastic action, but she realized her mistake and stopped. Should I notify the police about her? Become new symbol of London. 